Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to practice solving word problems involving percent change. This problem reads that a store was selling a jacket for $180. The store decided to change the price to $189. What was the percent change of the price? So what we're going to do is we're going to employ this formula right here to determine what the percent change actually is. So we're going to start by stating what the new price is, which is $189. And we're going to subtract from it the original price, which was $180. And then we have to take that amount and divide it by the original price, which was $180. Now, if we just solve this part of our equation, this will not give us the percent change. This will just give us the decimal value of that change. And we have to convert that decimal into a percentage by multiplying by 100. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this numerator here, which is a difference of 9, and state it as a part of the original price, which was 180. And we're going to multiply this value by 100. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this as a fractional value here. And I'm going to write 100 as a fraction, or 100 over 1. Now what I can do is I can use a little cross cancellation here to make my job a little bit easier. I can cross off one zero here and one zero here. And then I can take nine over 18 and reduce that to one half because nine is half of 18. So we change the nine into a one and the 18 into a two. And now I can cross cancel this 10 with this two. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I can change this 10 into a 5. And I can change this 2 into a 1. So that leaves us with 1 times 5 for the numerator. And both denominators are 1. So that gives us a product of 1. And 5 over 1 can be simplified to 5. So we would say that the percent change in price is 5%. And because our answer is positive here, we would consider this a 5% increase. Well, we can clearly see that from the original problem here. It says the jacket was 180 and it went up to 189. So just by reading the problem, we know that our result is going to be a percent increase in this case. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. This problem reads that a retail store was selling a television for $460. The store lowered the price to $391 for a weekend sale event. What was the percent change of the retail price? All right, so let's start with what the new price is. So the new price is $391. And the original price was $460. So we can see that the price actually dropped. And we have to divide this by the original price, which was $460. And then we have to multiply by 100 to figure out what our percent change is. All right, now notice we're starting with a smaller number and we're subtracting a bigger number from it, which means this numerator is going to give us a negative value. 391 minus 460 is negative 69. And we have to write that over 460. And we have to multiply that value by 100. So I'm just going to write 100 over 1. And now what we can do is a little bit of simplification here. We can cancel out one zero here and one zero here. And 10 and 46 are both even numbers. So we can change 10 into five and we can change 46 into 23. Now 69 and 23 share a common factor. 23 is a prime number. So the only thing that you can divide 23 is 1 or 23. And of course, dividing by 1 will not change this value, but we can divide 23 by itself. And 23 fits into itself once. And 23 fits into 69 exactly three times. So now we have negative 3 times positive 5, which results in negative 15. And our denominator is 1, so we can just write negative 15 over 1 as negative 15, which is our percent change. Now this negative right here really just indicates that we had a percent decrease in price. So we could say that the percent change of this was a 
percent decrease. Now that's why I like to write the new price first and then the original price. Because by doing this, if you come up with a negative value, you know that you're going to have a percent decrease. Although it's pretty obvious from the problem, since they said they started with a higher price of 460 and then they lowered the price to 391. But I still like to write the new price minus the original price so we can clearly see that if we get a negative, it is a reminder that we are dealing with a price drop or a percent decrease. Now, the problems that we just did on the screen here are fractions that were easy to cancel out. Sometimes everything in this part of your equation is not going to cancel out at all with this 100. So when you get something like that, you just have to express this value as a decimal and then take that decimal value and move the decimal two places to the right, which is the same thing as multiplying by 100 to get your percent increase or your percent decrease. All right, so that was just a little bit of review of how you can use an equation to determine the percent change of two different numbers. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can be informed as new videos become available on my channel.